because I remember at the age of seven, I was in church in my Baptist church in Hillsboro, Oregon, sitting in the foyer. And I remember looking up to the sky at the age of seven. And I remember looking to the sky and I heard this, like this voice, this, I will never forget. It was such a powerful, convicting voice, convicting in a good way. And said, Molly, are you ready? Are you ready to step into leadership at the age of seven? And you know what I said? I said, no, Lord, I'd rather go play with my friends. And then all I remember is I ran up the stairs and went to go find people and I avoided that like the plague. So I was like, I'm not ready. I'm not ready at seven. But guess what happened? 20 years later, 20 years later is when I really stepped into that positioning. When I stepped into that calling, I said, okay, Lord, I'm ready. I'm sorry it took me this long, but I'm ready. But guess what he didn't do? He didn't give up on me. Everything that I went into, he gave me grounds where I can learn and grow because he gives us choice. He gives us free will. He's not controlling us like a puppeteer and we're on strings and being the puppet. He gives us the choice. And so I made choices. A lot of them not so good. A lot of them could have led me to being truthfully a, a single mom, married and divorced, um, in a career that I hated for the rest of my life. It could have led me into very precarious situations. Could have even, I remember times where my decisions could have led me to dying right then and there. But He's like, I'm not done with you yet. So even though at the age of seven, I said, no, Lord, I'm not ready. He still didn't give up on me because he knew 20 years later, I would say, yes, let's do it. 